Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of important topics of quant. This video will help you in doing the quick revision of this important topic. So in this video, we are going to look at all the important formula of circular races and we are going to take up some conceptual question and then some PYQs from CAT. So let's get going. But before that, don't forget to hit the like button and watch this video till the end. Right. So let's look at first question. In fact, first situation. Uh, this says that X and Y be two runners on a circular uh, track of length 300 meter with speeds of 10 meter per second and 6 meter per second respectively. Okay. So they are running on a circular racetrack. Now the question is if X and Y are running in the same direction, then time taken by X and Y to meet for the first time anywhere on the uh, racetrack will be how much? So guys, this will be simple. Uh, they need to together cover 300 meter distance at the relative speed. Since they are going in the same direction, the relative speed will be difference of the speeds. So this will be the answer. They will meet for the first time anywhere on the racetrack after 75 seconds. We will also understand where they are going to meet and how many meeting points will be there and all. So that will be covered uh, after a few seconds. So please uh, let's understand this part first. So I hope all of you have understood this. The second question is X and Y to meet for the first time at the starting point on the racetrack. So after how much time will they meet once again at the starting point of the racetrack? See, they started from this point S and we are asked to find out once again, when will they come at this point? Okay, so here what we need to do is we need to find out when will X come over here again? So speed of X is 10 meter per second and the length of the racetrack is 300 meters. So after every 30 second, X will keep coming over here. Similarly, speed of Y is 6 meter per second. So after every 50 seconds, Y will keep coming at the starting point. So both of them will come at the starting point at a time, which is LCM of this uh, their respective time that is 30 and 50. So they'll come at the start, they'll meet at the starting point for the first time after 150 seconds which is lcm of their individual time okay and uh, yes after every 150 seconds they'll keep meeting at the starting point so i hope all of you have understood this now let's take another scenario what if they are running in the opposite direction so if x and y are running in opposite direction then the time taken by x and y to meet for the first time anywhere on the uh, racetrack will be how much since they are running in opposite direction the relative speed will be sum of the speeds that is 10 plus 6 so after this many seconds, they'll meet for the first time anywhere on the racetrack. Once again, if they are running in the opposite direction, then after how much time will they meet at the starting point for the first time? So guys, that answer will remain same. Whether they are running in the same direction or in the opposite direction, the starting point meeting will not change. So I hope you have understood this part as well. Now let's understand how to find out their different meeting points or the number of meeting points. So that is one very sim uh, simple formula for that. If X and Y be the two runners running on a circular track of 300 meter with speed of X being say three times that of Y. So here you are told that the faster one is say N times the slower one. So remember if they are running in the opposite direction, there will be N plus one meeting points. And if they are running in the same direction, there will be N minus one meeting points. So in our case, the number of meeting points, if they are running in opposite direction, then there will be four meeting points. And if they are running in opposite direction, then there will be two meeting points. So I really hope you have understood this. What if we are given the speeds? We are not told that X is this many times Y, but we are given the speeds. So look at this example. Let X and Y be the two runners on a circular track of 500 meter with the speeds being 10 meter per second and 6 meter per second. So at how many distinct points will they meet if they are running in the opposite direction? So guys, in such scenario, what you can do is you can find out ratio of the speeds but this ratio has to be simplified ratio. So 10 is to 6, 2 is the common factor. So we can write this as 5 is to 3. So this is called simplified, uh, you know, value of that ratio. So now the number of meeting points when they are running in the opposite direction will be straight away 5 plus 3. That is 8 meeting points. And if they are running in the same direction, then the number of meeting points will be just 2 because it will be 5 minus 3. You can apply this rule in the previous question. The answer will remain same. So I really hope you have understood this important points and formulae. Now let's take up the question and let's see what kind of questions are being asked. Most of the question will require uh, along with this concepts, you will require to apply that relative speed concept. So here is the first question, which is slightly tricky straight away from CAT 2021 slot three. So the question says that Mira and Amal walk along the circular track starting from the same point. So both of them started say from here 
and uh, if they walk in the same direction then in 15 minutes Amal completes three more rounds than Meera. Now in 45 minutes Amal completes three more rounds than Meera. Okay so if, if you want you can assume the speeds of Amal say x meter per second and speed of Meera as y meter per second because we are not given the speeds but what we are told is they are meeting uh, I mean Amal completes three more rounds than Meera in 45 seconds now please understand when two runners are running in the same direction you know follow these words when two runners are running in the same direction on a circular track when the faster one completes one more round than the slower one that will be their first meeting when the faster one completes two more rounds than the slower one that will be their second meeting and so on and so forth okay so here we can say that Amal uh, and Mira meets for the third time after 45 minutes so can we say when they are running in the same direction when they are running in the same direction the first meeting take place the first meeting take place after 15 minutes similarly when they are running in the opposite direction when they are running in opposite direction the first meeting take place it's clearly mentioned if they walk in the opposite direction then they meet for the first time after three minutes so the first meeting takes place after three minutes okay so this is the conclusion uh, this is the summary of data that is given to us now what do we need to find out the number of rounds Mira walks in one hour is how many in one hour how many rounds will Mira walk so this is going to be a simple question what we can do is when we know that if the length of the racetrack is say L meter then um, you know when they are running in the same direction um, the first meeting takes L upon X minus Y seconds or minutes time it doesn't matter we can also take uh, this as meter per minute it doesn't matter over here because we are given data in minutes so we'll take X meter per minute and Y meter per minute so if the race uh, track is of L meter and if they are meeting after 15 minutes so we can say this 15 minutes is equal to this 15 minutes is equal to L upon X minus Y similarly if they are running in the opposite direction the first meeting takes place after 3 minutes so I can say L meter distance they cover at the relative speed of X plus Y meter in 3 minutes time so now what we'll do is we'll simply take ratio of this two so if I just divide this first equation by the second equation so what will I get I'll get X plus Y upon X minus Y is equal to 15 by 3 is 5 by 1 so you can easily make out the values I mean if you want to take up uh, some values over here you can easily make out k when uh, you know this if we take a value of x as 3 the value of y has to be 2 3 plus 2 is 5 3 minus 2 is 1 isn't that very easy so we can say that in the time Amal, Amal runs 3 rounds can we say Mira yeah it's Mira runs 2 rounds isn't that th this is very simple because the ratio of the speed is 3 is to 2 x and y are nothing but their speeds so ratio of the speed is 3 is to 2 so when Amal uh, you know runs 3 rounds Mira runs 2 rounds and we know that when they are running in the same direction the first meet takes place after 15 minutes that means Amal should have walked one more round over Mira so can I say this situation takes place in 15 minutes I can say in 15 minutes Amal runs 3 rounds and Mira runs 2 rounds so can we say in 60 minutes uh, Mira must be running 8 rounds so that's our answer that is what they were they had asked us how many rounds will Mira complete in one hour so we can say it's 8 rounds so this was slightly tricky question but if you are very clear with the concepts I'm sure now you can solve such question in say 90 100 seconds in case if you are confused over here what you can do is you can watch this particular solution once again I'm sure you will understand that now let's take one more uh, similar question from CAT exam. Now here is a question from CAT 2019 slot 2. Now guys just want to tell you in this particular video we are just taking up or we are covering the concepts of circular rays. I'll release one more video where I'll cover all the important formula and variety of question based on linear rays and there will be one more video where I'll cover all the important questions of time speed and distance. Okay so do watch all those videos. Right okay so let's look at this question. So John jogs on a track A at 6 km per hour and Mary jogs on track B at 7.5 km per hour. Okay, so we don't know there are two tracks, track A, uh, 
uh, we don't know the length of the track say x meter and there is another track b so we can take length of that track as y meter okay now the total length of two tracks a and b is 325 meter so we know x plus y is 325 meter now while john makes nine rounds of the track a mary makes only five rounds of track b now what does it mean by this one so we can say in the time that john covers completes nine rounds in the same time mira completes only five rounds of her track she is running on track b okay so when john covers nine rounds so she, uh, he must have walked for 9x meter at what speed at uh, his own speed which is uh, six kilometer per hour okay in the same time so this is the time now here it doesn't matter whether it's seconds or kilometer per hour because both the times will be in the same unit okay in the same time mira completes five rounds of her track b so uh, the track b is of y meter length so total distance covered by mira is 5 y meter at her speed which is 7.5 kilometer per hour so we have kept unit same on both the sides right so i mean this is a very simple situation 6 and 7.5 you can easily make out this nothing but 4 and 5 this 5 will get cancelled off so we will get ratio of uh, the length tracks um, that is x and y so it will come out to be x by y will come out to be 4 by 9 okay so can we divide this 325 meter in 4 and 9 so yes we can easily make out this will be track x will be of 100 meter and track y will be of 225 meter isn't that so now we have got the length of tracks uh, a track a and track b okay that is 100 meter and 225 meter now our question is in how many seconds will mira sorry it's mary by the way so in how many seconds will mary make one round of track a so what is the speed of mary 7.5 kilometer per hour we'll have to convert it into seconds by multiplying by 5 by 80 and uh, we are asked to find out the time to complete track a which is of 100 meter length so yeah just solve this and you will get 48 seconds as the answer that's a pretty simple question you just had to use ratio of speed so it is less of the circular history question more of a, a time speed distance question isn't that but yes it was from um, the previous year cat paper right let's take one more tricky question now this is not from cat exam but it's actually a very tricky question and can be asked in upcoming cat exam so let's look at this question as well now this question says that ali and baba start simultaneously at the same point on a circular track and run along the track in the same direction the point on the track at which they meet for the 29th time is same as um, at which they meet for the 41st time that means both this meetings 29th meeting and 41st meeting are happening at the same point okay so there are multiple meeting points okay as we have seen earlier uh, if a ratio of the speed is say 4 is to 1 then there will be five meeting points if they are running in the opposite direction and if they are running in the same direction then there will there will be three meeting points and so on and so forth so if ratio here in our question they are running in the same direction so if the ratio of the speed uh, if the ratio of the speed of the faster boy to that of the slower one is n is to 1 where n is a natural number then which of the following is not possible value of n okay so this is the question now let's understand this question with some simple example okay so there are two people a and b what if the speed is say in the ratio 2 is to 1 so how many meeting points will be there when they are running in the same direction so we know there will be 2 minus 1 that is just one meeting point so which will be that one meeting point of course the starting point right so their first meeting will also happen over here second meeting will also happen over here third meeting 29th meeting 41st meeting all this meeting will be happening over here so can i say the possible value of n can be 2 yes 2 is possible i hope you have understood this part one option is eliminated because we are asked to find out which of the following value is not possible for n okay so this is possible now let's take some other value over here okay what if the ratio of the speed is say 4 is to 1 so number of meeting points will be 4 minus 1 that is 3 okay once again there will be three meeting points and all the meeting points are always equidistant remember this point so if you divide the given racetrack in n meeting points then all those meeting points will be equidistant from the adjacent meeting point okay or they will be equidistant from each other so the first meeting will happen over here 
second meeting will happen over here when the speeds are in the ratio 4 is to 1 and when they are running in the same direction the third meeting will happen over here then fourth meeting fifth meeting sixth meeting and so on and so forth so all the meetings which are multiple of three will be happening over here so i can say 27th meeting will happen over here 28th meeting will happen over here and 29th meeting will be happening over here similarly 39th meeting will be happening over here because 39 is a multiple of three then 40th meeting will happen over here and 41st meeting will again happen over here so can i say this n can also be four right because 29th and 41st meeting is happening at the same point it is this point right so what what can we conclude based on this are we going to take few more examples no we can just conclude something over here so we are asked the 29th and 41st meeting are happening over here so what is the difference between these two numbers it's 12 so guys all the values of n are, will be possible for which n minus 1 is a factor of 12 as you can see 4 minus 1 3 is a factor of 12 2 minus 1 1 is a factor of 12 and so on and so forth so which values are possible so if we take n as 4 4 minus 1 3 is factor of 12 that's correct if we take value uh, value of n is 5 5 minus 1 is 4 which is again factor of 12 so which is not possible it's 6 because 6 minus 1 is 5 and 5 is not the factor of 12 so i really hope all of you have understood this concept we had to discuss these three questions and i just want to tell you one thing over here in case if you haven't hit the like button quickly like this video so that i can keep coming up with more such videos and please let me know in the comment section how did you find this video so that i can make the necessary changes if required apart from that guys if you are targeting for next year's cat or omats then you can go for plus or iconic subscription of unacademy using my code shah10 so don't forget to apply this code shah10 if you wish to prepare under my guidance that's one thing apart from that do participate in the upcoming all india mock test the link has been provided in the description. This is a free mock test that Unacademy is providing to all the learners and it will give you good assessment of your preparations. So keep learning and stay tuned for more such videos.